Question 32. 2, 6, take away an 8. Now, whenever we are adding or subtracting fractions, we basically need to sort out a common denominator. In other words, we need the two numbers on the bottom of the fractions to be the same. Now, at the moment, we've got a 6 and an 8, and they're not the same. So we need to change the 6 and the 8 so that they've got, we've got the same number. Now, this one's not so simple because we can't just double the 6 to get 8. That doesn't work. We can't just triple the 6 to get 8. That doesn't work. So we're not going to be able to just change one of the numbers. We're going to have to change both of the numbers. So what we're looking for is a number that both 6 and 8 go into. So if you spend 20 seconds thinking about that, you might realise that 6 and 8, well, if you times them together, then you'd get 48. So both 6 and 8 would go into 48. But 6 and 8 would both also go into half of 48, which is 24. 6 goes into 24, 8 goes into 24. It's up to you whichever one of those two you use. You would get an equivalent fraction as your answer anyway. So I'm going to go with the smaller one, which is 24. So I'm going to turn them both into 24ths. But what we need to do is figure out what we've done to the 6 and 8 to get it into 24ths. So you get from 6 to 24 you multiply by 4, and to get from 8 to 24, you multiply by 3. So whatever we do to the bottom numbers, we must also do to the top numbers to get an equivalent fraction. So if I've gone 6 times 4 to get 24, I need to do 2 times 4 to get 8. And if I times the 8 by 3 to get 24, I must also times the 1 by 3 to get 3. So my equivalent fractions to 2 sixths, and 1 eighth are 8 twenty-fourths and 3 twenty-fourths. Now I've got them into equivalent fractions, I can subtract them. So 8 twenty-fourths take away 3 twenty-fourths, it's like saying 8 oranges take away 3 oranges, it would be 5 oranges. 8 apples take away 3 apples, it's 5 apples. So the twenty-fourths is like the unit that we're dealing with. So 8 twenty-fourths take away 3 twenty-fourths is going to be 5 twenty-fourths. And that's the answer that we need to put in our answer box, 5 24ths.